All right, greetings. Hold on, guys. Give me a moment. Bear with me. I'm trying to give folks some time to get in before I jump in. So just hang on, hang on. I don't want to rush straight away. <laughs> yeah, y'all probably laughing at what you see here. <laughs> this is to the haters, right? <laughs> It's to the haters, to the haters, the naysayers. That's what you guys are seeing. <laughs> anyway, welcome. Come on in. Just hang out for a bit. Happy Friday. Hope y'all are having a good Friday wherever you are on the globe. Hope you are having a wonderful Friday. This glorious, uh, what is this? September the 30th. Final day of September. This is it, y'all. This is it. We are closing out month nine of 2022, both figure. We got what? We're going into October. So we, what, October, November, December? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Wrapping it up, wrapping it up. And I am so grateful for that. But I have something for you. Those of you who are coming in, love and light, high vibe, positivity. It is going to be an actual mini reading, um, but it's going to be using um, my two of my decks, okay? Because it's very basic. It's Oracle, so it's not going to be involved, but it's connected to what we're going to talk about and connected to this decree, okay? So um, um, holiday season coming up. Yeah, it is. Oh, let me put the link in here. I was going to save the link, uh, but let me put it since I'm going to put it so you guys could uh, check it out at your leisure. You can you know, right click and, and then um, copy. Hold on. All right. So I've just linked what we're going to be talking about here. Um, I also have it in front of me and I will be playing it momentarily. But this is going to be a quick one, and then I'm still going to come back to do um, a thorough reading as I'm guided to do. But, man, I was just doing my own little night meditations. I was outside, came back inside, and ran across something from Steve Noble, Nobel. And I haven't had a chance to look at all of his stuff, and so it, um, it just popped up. It popped up. So I was like, okay, this is serving. And so I'm going to stop and I'm going to share this. And then I'm going to do a reading based on my Oracle decks. For those of you who are, you know, participating with this, it's resonating with you and, you know, all of that. Okay. But yeah, I know you guys are looking at what the hell. <laughs> this is not to you if you're a high viber. Okay. It ain't to you if you're coming in here and loving light and positive vibes towards me. This is to the motherfuckers. When y'all hear a bloomy bloom going to the left and shit, <laughs> when y'all hear me going in, bitch, right? Whether it's on behalf of y'all or on behalf of myself, this is to them motherfuckers. Ah, right? <laughs> I love this. I love stuff that talks like shit that say shit, okay? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> don't mind me. All right, so before we play it, before we play it, I'm going to read the portion that uh, Steve Noble had. He doesn't have like the full version, but I'm going to play, I'm going to read what he does have on there so that you guys can like hear the words first and then I'll play it. Now, this one is a little long, so I don't know if I want to play it all the way through because um, normally they're like 11 minutes and 11 seconds. So this is 18. I don't know if I want to do 18 minutes. Uh, of the decree. So this is why I'm sharing the link so you guys can do it at your own leisure. Okay. But it is called Higher Light Decree Black Magic Removal. Higher Light Decree Black Magic Removal. Okay. And um, by Steve Nobel. So this is not my stuff. Y'all. I'm being honorable attributing credit where credit is due. This is his work. Okay. So, um, it goes, it says here, this track is designed to remove black magic, dark agreements, vows and promises, curses, spells, psychic interference, and so on that originates 
from this lifetime, bloodline, and all other lifetimes. Okay? And here we go. It says, I declare that I am a free sovereign being. Um, man, see, I don't know if you... No, anyway, I'll just do it. I declare that I am a free sovereign being. I am a beloved child of the universe. I am a multidimensional being of light. I am a starseed magician, a starseed alchemist, a pioneer in consciousness. Spiritual connection is the truth of my being. My higher self is eternally seated in a throne of light in a temple in the great central sun. I have experienced many dimensions, planes of existence and stellar races. I am here because I have chosen to serve the truth. I am protected by many beings in the unseen worlds of spirit. Many angels and archangels surround me. The earth beneath my feet supports my awakening and journey on earth plane. No 3D dark magic or dark power has any power over me. No dark interference can ever prosper against me. I am a servant of the one. The power of the one true light shines through my being. Now, like I said before, you guys can modify verbiage and adjectives to suit you. And something I've learned to practice, I always make some kind of statement as it resonates, as it resonates with my higher self only. That's giving order and direction to accept and or enact what is truly in alignment. Because again, we're all on different paths. And like I told you guys before, even when I find bits of pieces of information that I do like, it doesn't necessarily mean I agree with the whole totality of a particular person or what they do based on their soul's journey. So I critique things in this way. I'm always going, hmm, I'll rephrase something or I'll say under the leadership of as it pertains to in a most benevolent way, which is, you know, the highest love. So that that just neutralizes any possible weirdy shit. I do that. I'm like, I'm not playing with any weirdy shit. Because my intention is to um, release all belief systems, actually, to tap into the true source energy. So anything that's going to keep me on a loop of lower density, mindset, belief, attitude, anything, no matter what is cloaked under, I'm not with it. So I'll pull the information that is going to allow my ascension accordingly. And so you may want to take on that as well, just to kind of calm your nerves, to not worry. Like, okay, only under the leadership of my true higher selves, okay? All right, so I know that the actual decree is much longer than this, but I don't want to do it. Well, should I do it? I guess I can do it, huh? I can do it with you guys. I mean, I did the other ones. It's only seven minutes extra. All right. So for those of you who are not interested in this part, I invite you, you can click off, come back, whatever. But this is, you know, for those of you who come in at some point and you are interested in hearing it and you can just get in position, place your hands over your heart, heart space, or, you know, like this, or whatever you feel guided or comfortable and just simply say, I agree, I concur, I affirm, as it resonates, as it resonates with my true higher self, under the leadership of my guidance team in divine order. You know, you can put that clause in there, okay? All right. And that everything else is transmuted out, basically. All the other energies, if it's not fitting, that is just released. That is sent to Gaia, that is disintegrated, you know, yada, yada. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and play it. Why not? Because then it's going to get us, you know, primed. Primed and ready for what this reading is actually about. Okay? All right. Ah. I put the link in here, y'all, for those of y'all who are interested. I'm already being silly. Okay, it's time to get serious. All right, y'all are seeing my crystal water bottle. Yeah, talking about some internal alchemy here, indirect, so it's not hurting the crystals here. We have um, rose, amethyst, and clear quartz. This is a good combination, bitch. 
You know what I'm saying? Whoa. And then it has a sleeve. So normally it's sitting with the sleeve. It's a black sleeve that's over it. So sometimes I take it off, but usually I keep it on there. Okay, so let's rock. Hmm. It's like drinking the violet fire, right? Did I forget to squeeze this tight? Damn it. All right. Hold on, guys. Oh, man. Hang on, hang on. Sorry, sorry. I'm still here. Make me say, oh. Y'all hear me? I probably sound far away, huh? La 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 la. Make them say, uh. I want to hear y'all say it, even though I know I can't hear y'all say it. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm funny, right? Okay. <laughs> and look, this is for y'all, too. Look, y'all high vibers, check. Oh, blow me blown. Right? Oh, blow me blow and represent <laughs> on behalf of the collective herself. So, look, we telling this, you know what I'm saying, to my fuckers fucking with y'all. Uh, fuck off, right? Um, uh, all right. Let's rock. Higher selves from the 6th to the 12th called upon my I am presence. I called upon my I am presence. My higher selves from the 6th to the 12th dimensions and my team in spirit of the highest light and resonance to witness support and activate this decree. upon the archangels of the horizontal plane, Raphael of the east, Michael of the south, Gabriel of the west, and Uriel of the north, to witness this decree. Angels of the vertical plane, Metatron and Sandphon, to witness this decree. I call upon all positively orientated stellar races, assisting in the ascension process, to witness this decree. sovereign being. I am a beloved child of the universe. I am a multidimensional being of light. I am a starseed magician, a starseed alchemist, pioneering consciousness. Spiritual connection is the truth of my being. My higher self is eternally seated in a throne of light in a temple in the great central sun. I've had experienced many dimensions, planes of existence, and stellar races. I am here because I have chosen to serve the truth. I am protected by many beings in the unseen worlds of spirit. Any angels and archangels surround me. The earth beneath me.
if my feet supports my awakening and journey on the earth plane. No 3D dark magic or dark power has any power over me. No dark interference can ever prosper against me. I'm a servant of the one. The power of the one true light shines through my being. Team and spirit of the highest light resonance, I am here to return this dimension of the earth to the light. I am here to neutralize all dark energies that appear in my reality. I am here to assist the human collective in the ascension process. I have mastered the ascension process on many other worlds and planes of existence. Your team and spirit of the highest light and resonance assist me in transforming any belief system that yeah. says the dark is stronger than the light. <laughs> this was once true but it's no longer true on this ascending planet. All dark forces are weakening because this planet is now aligning with the light. Your team and spirit of the highest light and resonance, I now ask for a complete clearing and burning in the fire of the great central sun, all contracts, oaths, vows, promises that open the way to allow any curses or ill will or black magic, voodoo or juju interference. I ask for a complete clearing and burning in the fire of the great central sun any agreements made with any dark, magical or spiritual path. Release any sense of unworthiness, guilt, desire for revenge, hate, betrayal, limitation, injustice, injustice, or persecution originated in any space or time that allows lower forces to touch me and my body elemental. in my energy fields. Release any slavery or servitude imprints, patterns and programs from any lifetime, time or space. Clear any interference from any other being, group or organization that influences my body elemental in any way. Burn and destroy any lower astral cloning, such as voodoo dolls or any other such effigy. <laughs> Burn and destroy the resonance with any photo or image being used in dark magic against me. Burn and destroy the resonance with any body shedding, such as hair or nail clippings being used in black magic against me. Burn all of this in the light of the great central sun. Dear team and spirit of the highest light resonance, I ask for a complete clearing and burning in the fire of the great central sun all other lifetime agreements that open the way for any lower energies to touch me, such as tribal agreements dark shamanic agreements that are in any way involving lower astral or lower galactic forces, entities or energies. Release all black magics 
set against me in any lifetime involving any consciously created group thought forms. Release all black magic sent against me from any lifetime involving any unconsciously created group thought forms. They ask for a complete clearing and burning in the fire of the great central sun any connection to or worship of false idols or fallen angels. for a complete clearing and burning in the fire of the great central sun, all psychic agreements with dark satanic forces mm -hmm. currently operating on the planet, including any agreements with the global banking system that interferes with my finances and abundance. Release all black magic involving the moon and any beings working magically and negatively with the moon. Release any black magic involving any lifetime where I've been involved in tribal, shamanic or Wiccan practices involving any negative energy streams affecting me coming via the moon. Release all black magic from the end times of Lemuria. The end times of Atlantis. And any other culture steeped in magical practices such as ancient Egypt. Release any black magic involving any planetary energy in this solar system and any beings working negatively and magically with any planetary energy. Release all black magic from any past planetary object or planet that no longer exists in this physical solar system. team and spirit of the high slide of resonance release all black magic involving blood magic, blood rituals, sex magic, sex rituals, they are all sigils, bells, dark symbols, dark incantations. Releasing all black magic sent against me from any lifetime involving the coerced energy of any venomous creature such as spiders or snakes or hornets and so on. Mm. <laughs> Release all black magic involving animal or human sacrifice. Uh -huh. yeah. Release any trapped souls or trapped energies that have been sent against me in any black magic ritual or practice. Okay. Release any of my own trapped souls life that has been imprisoned due to any ritual or ritualistic death in any other lifetime. Okay. Transform any belief system that any tribal leader, mm -hmm. king, emperor, dark shaman or dark magician, mm -hmm. dark psychic, dark mm -hmm. priest, dark church, <laughs> dark religious organization, wow. dark spiritual group or organization, mm -hmm. or dark teacher has any power over me. Burn and destroy in the fire of the great central sun any contracts, oaths, vows, or promises made by any ancestor yeah. or group of ancestors <laughs> involving any dark magic or dark spiritual path that binds me or limits me in any way, <laughs> including all ancestral trauma, imprints, patterns, and programs.
Dear team and spirit of the highest light and resonance, clear all black magic, all curses and spells from my body, yes. chakra system, yes. meridians, yes. nervous system, yes. reproductive system, okay. and all layers of my aura. Okay. Team and spirit of the highest light and resonance in this current lifetime, shield, neutralize, bounce away, yeah. send back to sender as appropriate. <laughs> Any consciously focused hate, yeah. malice, yeah. spite, yeah. envy, yeah. jealousy, yeah. or any desire to harm or block me. Yeah. Emma, son. Team of spirit, the highest light <laughs> residents, seal all physical openings in my body yes. with gold protective light. Awesome. Seal the outer layers of my aura with gold light from the great central sun. Seal the inner layers of my aura with crystalline diamond white light from the crystalline core of the earth. Seal all my chakras with gold and diamond crystalline light. Mm -hmm. Open the way for me to experience the full power and light of my sovereign being. Open the way for ease, grace, flow, joy, synchronicity, and miracle consciousness as I ascend in vibration beyond all layers of darkness and shadow. I declare that I am a free sovereign being. I am a beloved child of the universe. I am a multidimensional being of light. I am a starseed magician, a starseed alchemist, a pioneering consciousness. Spiritual connection is the truth of my being. My higher self is eternally seated in a throne of light in a temple in the great central sun. I've experienced many dimensions, planes of existence, and stellar races. I'm here because I have chosen to serve the truth. I am protected by many beings in the unseen world of spirit. Many angels and archangels surround me. The earth beneath my feet supports my awakening and journey on the earth plane. No 3D dark magic or dark power has any power over me. No dark interference can ever prosper against me. I am a servant of the one. The power of the one true light shines through my being. And so it is. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. All right. Man, that was, uh, I felt that. But that's because I set intentions when I do these things. I'm like mindfully breathing. I can feel my chakras spin when I connect like that. And I was just like, wow. Um, so you guys, the link, I, um, I pinned it up here for you all. 
For those of you who are interested, that was Steve Nobel. He is on YouTube. We are not collaborators, but he has a lot of information, as does other creators I've shared with you all, that will be helpful with reclaiming your life, reclaiming your power, and clearing out all of that dense energy to give you space to heal a sin and to have more revealed to you, okay? Because it's often, it's a lot, and it's not going to all be revealed um, in one one sit, one walk, okay? Um, yeah, it's just meant to assist with clearing that stuff out. And then you'll start to see things slowly, as you keep on your path, slowly change, okay? Because a lot of what's been on repeat in our lives is not due to what we thought it was due to, okay? A lot of us has been mind-fucked into thinking that it was something wrong with us. Um, somebody says, I'm sorry, let me see if I could read. It says, that was perfect for me right now. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I'm glad um, that that served. So you can, you know, these little decrees, you know, you guys could play. This could be your whole little routine. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you feel like you just don't know what to say. In the beginning, often too, especially you guys, we just feel like we don't even know what to say. Okay? You be in shock that you've come to some knowledge or understanding and truth about what was really behind the hardships of your life, who was behind the hardships of your life, and what people uh, were doing to you um, and your children. And so when this, you know, becomes open, you're like shocked. You're shocked. And you may not know what to say. And so this is why I feel like stuff like this, people like him, you know, they write out these things they do, you know, this is like what their gifting is or whatever. And so this is like a starting point and you can always feel into it and change words, but in the beginning, often you really don't got nothing to say. You're just like, wow, man. Wow. People are that fucked up. <laughs> like, people are like that gone, and there's really a such thing um, of weirdo shit, and it's not the shit that this 3D illusionary reality tries to point at as so-called weird. It's hiding behind a lot of what we call normal. And I think that's one of the greatest things that's uh, tripping a lot of us out. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so use these things to help you so you don't have to just bang your head and wreck your mind so much. All right. Love on yourself. Love on your space. Like today, you know, I do little things as I'm guided. You know, I'll walk around the perimeters of my house with frequencies playing. Um, earlier, I think I had a bundle of, um, mugwort, my black sage, and, you know, was speaking and decreeing certain things, playing certain frequencies. And so whatever makes you feel more comfortable, whatever helps you to see that things are releasing and breaking in your life. Okay. Cause you deserve and have a right to heal and space to do that. And hopefully these are some of the tools that are helping you all. To have just that. Okay. All right. So that was Higher Light Decree by Steve Nobel, Black Magic Removal. So now I think it's a total of four or five that I'm recommending to use on a, on a regular basis. Okay. Day to day. You can play them while you're working out. You can play them, in, you know, while you're cleaning the house. You can play them while you're gardening. You know what I'm saying? On your breaks and lunches at work. There's so many ways while you're sleeping, because now it's seeping into that subconscious. You see what I'm trying to say? So all of that, those are just some tools, okay? So anywho, I'm going to put on some other frequencies, and I'm going to get my two decks like I told you guys, and I'm going to answer a question here for you guys, okay? So uh, give me a second. I'm going to find some frequencies, bitch. Oh, boy, it's long. To play on repeat and shit. I was listening to some of uh, what he was saying. I was like, man, it was a part of me. I was like, I don't know, man. But then I smiled because I'm like, I, you know, I was like, I release. 
<laughs> I was like, okay, I was like, okay, so my heart is on my release, you know, we'll do it. All right, let's see. Okay, this is a black mirror. It says, reflect dark magic spells, witchcraft, sorcery, and send it back to casters. I'm going to turn it down, don't worry, because I know it's loud. Um, this is by Altona777. Okay, another one of my faves. I'm going to turn it down real low. Yeah, Altona777. He has this in his um, a playlist he's created that's called Digital Potions. And he's also on YouTube. Okay, and these are frequencies that I often play all night as I'm guided. Some of them I'll click on where it's to do with um, repelling astral predators or something like that that harass you and so forth. So, again, <laughs> Just take what resonates, but for those of you who know you've been under severe weird bitch and nigga shit, okay, people that's into that and got an issue with you, whether it's from this lifetime or other lifetimes or both, because a lot of you is just karmics that have followed you around um, and been doing the same shit lifetime after lifetime, okay, and they show up in your bloodline, okay. Probably why secret societies kind of like end up connecting with these these folks because they be karmics and be willing to do anything. That's a whole nother thought. I digress. Anyway, I am going to um, answer a question about whether or not, you know, using Steve Nobel's um, decrees, how is it, if it's improving, if it's helping. So we have maybe yes rephrase no right so we're going to see what the pendulum says we're going to get the reading this is very basic okay but i'm hoping this is serving in a high vibe way okay and the high vibe way so what's going on good what's good about who you are and we're going to get some daily dose of dharma energy as well all right and if I have time, I'm going to come back and do a full spread like normal. Okay. All right. <laughs> Don't y'all like my, glo my, my gloves, y'all? Ain't this kind of cool? I was like, what? This is just my kind of language, bitch. But saying something when I ain't got to say nothing, bitch. <laughs> Don't like my fuckers for them, but like, ah, uh, read, read, read. <laughs> All right. Light team, for those that are truly, sincerely on their path here, resonating with the things we're talking about here, waking up, trying to ascend and heal, becoming the best version of themselves, those that know they've been under severe attack by groups, Dark magic, hate, target, all of that. Needing encouragement to keep moving forward. Needing some reinforcement. What's good about them? What's going in their favor? What's good about them? About who they are, where they're at. This one's sticking, so I'll take that one. Thank you, Light Team. Man, I can't wait to get the professional versions. All right. They're face down. I'm going to keep them face down for now. Then let's get the Daily Dose of Dharma, Good Karma. 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 Y'all, my dream was trippy. Um, I told, I think I told you guys earlier I had two part dreams again, and it was bad. And I don't know, I still don't know if it was me just astral traveling another timeline, another lifetime. Um, but 
It was, it, yeah. It All I'm going to say, because I'm guided not to really give the detail. I wonder why. But anyway, I'll say this. It exposed something pertaining to me and my son. I'll put it that way. It exposed it. When I woke, when I opened my eyes, I was like, wow. Just wow. That's all I, that's all I was like, wow. And then I was pissed. And then I was like, I was in this energy again. I was like, light team. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. I was like, come on. Come on. Time for me to move on. Me and my son, justice shall prevail. All right. In this lifetime, this shall be. All right. So it is to you, collective. So what is the daily dose of Dharma Good Karma? Good karma that the collective is receiving for choosing to heal, choosing to wake up, choosing to surrender to their higher self, choosing to ascend, choosing to become the best versions of themselves from the inside out, choosing to say no to the lower shit, the toxic shit, should I say, the malevolent shit, come hell or high water, those who have chosen and are going through some kind of healing from what they've gone through. So what is some dharma for them choosing the light, if you will, benevolent energy? That one's sticking. This one is sticking. All right. All right. Like I said, those of you that may come in, this is not the full-fledged reading. We'll get to the full-fledged one. This is a little mini to encourage those of you who are clearing dark magic out. All of that, waking up, healing, and ascending. Okay? Making those changes in your life. All right. So something good about you or someone that you're probably thinking of. Wait. Man. Inner strength. All right. Rapid recovery. So, yep. Sweet and sassy. You have a very humble and grateful heart, or somebody does. Natural healer. Some of you are natural healers. Or naturally healing, natural healers, naturally healing. Grace, grace, and more grace. You guys are being granted grace, grace, and more grace here. Or maybe this is something good about you. Creative, fun, thoughtful, and kind. Oh, somebody is creative, fun. Wait, there it is, bitch. Creative, fun, thoughtful, and kind. Not afraid to live alone. A free thinker. Oh, yeah. You need that in these times because you get caught up in some crazy shit. Show sure enough. Okay? Uh. Down to earth yet classy and elegant. Down to earth yet classy. Aww. So this is something good about some of you. At the bottom of that deck, we have bold and beautiful. Okay? Good witch, warlock, natural magician of the light. You damn skippy, motherfuckers. Ancient wisdom. Handsome, raw, rare, and real. Uh-oh, got some man energy here. Okay. Uh, protection from the gods and goddesses and ancestors. Yeah, they whoop it down. Emotional intelligence. To the 12th part, this is where somebody said, let me squint so I can read right. Thank you for sharing love. I have to go now. Peace be with you and much love. Oh, okay. Whoever said that, okay, bye. High honor, moral, high ground, okay? You're funny. People love your sense of humor. Nice. So somebody's got some beautiful energy going on about themselves right now, okay? 
Now let's see what is your daily dose of Dharma. Okay. The Dharma. From pain to privilege and power. Ooh, child. From pain, hold up. From pain to privilege and power. That's what I'm talking about. New job, hold on. Oh, sorry. Oh, thank you. Wait. New job opportunity. So maybe for somebody you're looking for a new job, or so there's some kind of new job ops that you guys are going to be receiving or have already for some of you. Okay. The goddess, the gods and goddesses' ancestors have granted you proof, proof to truths and facts. Ooh, see, this is that, that busted energy. So all the shit motherfuckers was hiding. <laughs> Heartfelt, authentic belly laughs. Hee <laughs> hee. So some of you guys are connecting back to laughter after going through a lot of heartbreaking things. Okay. Enjoying your favorite foods and desserts. Ooh. Total soul retrieval. Oh, this, I'm so glad this is out. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Total soul retrieval. Yeah, buddy. Debts are paid off miraculously. Now, shit, I'll take this one. Who got, who got their shit paid off miraculously? <laughs> this is going to be somebody's dharma. <laughs> oh, bloomy bloom. You know what I'm saying? Wants to take a little bit of piece of that. <laughs> I want that one to be my team. I'm, I'm like, I'm trying to make this be for me. This part be for me. Um, that would be nice, bitch. <laughs> anywho, anywho, let me I digress. Uh, you're, wait. Oh, you're beginning to see the silver lining. Ooh. Somebody is starting to see the silver lining of things after all you went through. Um. Appreciated, acknowledged, and awarded. Appreciated, acknowledged, and awarded. So you guys went through something and, you know, you held on, man. From rags to riches. That's what I'm talking about. Look, we got from pain to privilege and power, and now we got from rags to riches. Oh, oh, it's going down. Dharma in this house today. Okay, closure without the apologies. This is a gift from the gods. Yeah, this is for those of you who have dealt with a lot of narcissistic cunts and fucks. Okay, a lot of motherfuckers that did a whole lot of fucked up shit pretending like they didn't do it and got the nerve to go around and crying and shit like they didn't do nothing. Okay, you guys are... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Dr. Strange Effect. Oh, see, I like when I got the surprise little mystery mix, bitch. Dr. Strange Effect, Infinity Stone of Time. So something with time. A, a dharma, something to do with time. Ooh. Maybe you're, oh, let me just leave that long because I'm like, ooh, I know what they might be doing. Um, clearing some shit up. It's like, mm, Dr. Strange Effect. Ooh, erase, rewind. Right? Past connections are resurfacing to sincerely apologize. So this is weird. So there's always some that ain't, a, you know, you're getting closure from motherfuckers who didn't. And then there are some people that's coming back around to apologize. Okay. Interesting. Peace and quiet environment. No buzzers. Ooh, child. This, yeah, child. Uh, yeah. Oh, ain't nothing like that. Ancient mantras transmuting dark magic. Ooh, I like this one. Ooh, mystery mix, bitch. So who doing this? I wonder which one of y'all or somebody doing this. Ooh, telekinesis. Wow. Moving things and other locations, 5D and up. Oh, buddy. I want, I want this one too, like, team. I want this one to be mine. I want some debts paid off, bitch. 
Where's that? Miraculous shit dance. <laughs> New homes, vehicles, and properties. Nice. Okay. So either you have or are you fence into new homes, vehicles, and properties. Trinity effect. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. I must be dealing with some bad motherfuckers on here or on YouTube or whenever y'all click on the video, bitch. Okay. Because now somebody in that trinity effect, okay, it's, ooh, that's that whoop ass energy <laughs> from the matrix resurrection. Trinity effect from the matrix resurrection. Whatever this personally mean to you, but y'all know her, what she did. If you've seen the movie, you know what she did. Uh, snapping her finger and shit like, oh, my, my fucker, uh, my fucker. Kind of energy. <laughs> oh shit. Angel number two two two. Two two two. We've been talking about this. This is about balance. This is about partnerships, relationships. Okay? Getting balance restored to relationships, partnerships in your life. Masculine and feminine energy within yourself. Also twin flamey energy, okay? Benefit, what the, huh? Ooh, somebody's getting a surprise. It says beneficial, loving surprise from the galactics. So start seeing energy. Something from the galactics are coming in. A beneficial, loving surprise from the galactics is somebody's dharma. Okay. Ooh, let's see. And at the bottom of the deck. Angel number 888. Ooh, here we go. This is abundance. This is prosperity. This is business. 444. And oh, today I saw 444. I was seeing 444. 444. So some of y'all's foundation, okay, home life, stability, all of that is being healed. Okay. Business. Okay. Uh you can finally breathe and relax. Absolutely. Okay. Angel number 1111. There's that twin flame energy again. 1111. Awakening. Conscious ascension. Okay. Twin flame journey could have some kind of complete clarity here. Complete clarity. Wow. Feminine, you could have been at a, a time where you went into Harlequin, okay? Because now I've got the Harlequin effect, uh, and it says shadow energy was used to defeat your enemy. Your shadow was used to defeat your enemy, and now there is yin and yang balance within. Congratulations. Okay. Ooh, and then somebody thinks to have them a committed relationship on the horizon, bitch. Oh shit, for those who want that, okay. Ah, uh, so now beautiful, beautiful. So we're gonna ask um for those of you who have been working on clearing your energy, clearing all black magic. If you're trying to, if you're figuring out, are you recovering? Is it effective? Because sometimes we don't see all of it, it's subtle energy. Okay, so let's just see for those of you, we know what it's going to say, but I want y'all to see it. Okay, we know where it's going, but I want you to see it. Okay. All right, team, for those who are sincere and in benevolent love and light energy only, that have been surrendering to their true higher self, that are on a path of ascension and healing, whether they are at the beginning, intermediate, or more advanced stages, it doesn't matter. But they've been clearing. They're trying to heal and recover from dark magic, ritual work, spells, abuse, narcissistic abuse, one thing and another. People trying to kill them, people trying to poison them, all shit, everything, bitch. <laughs> Damn, motherfuckers. Okay, anyway. 
Light team, violet fire, ancestors, help me out, pendulum. Those who give permission, only energies who see this at some point and they give permission for this in high vibration, charging movement to the higher selves, the true higher selves. Please and thank you. Is the collective, the high vibe collective, is their health improving? Their mind improving? Is their life starting to heal and improve here? Are they healing and improving as they're working with their team, clearing out dark magic, doing what they're being guided to do? Are they healing and improving? Are they healing on all levels, all levels, all levels of their lives, wherever it resonates for them? Are they healing and improving? Are they healing and improving? Are they recovering? Are they healing? It's going back and forth to yes, 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 yes. Which is the yellow. It's going yes, 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 yes. Okay? It's not going in a circle. It's going up and down. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. I already knew I was going to say that, but I wanted you all to see that. Okay? You are, because sometimes you don't feel like you are, especially if it was if it was heavy, okay? It was heavy and a lot, okay? The recovery process, you don't always feel that way. Like, think about it like if you were, like, get sick, right? In the 3D, you get sick or cold or flu or whatever. Like, even though you be getting better, but, like, at first, you don't be getting better. You don't be feeling like you're getting better. You see what I'm trying to say? At first, you'd be like, oh, my God. You'd be, like, laid out on the couch. You'd be like, oh. You know, but you're taking your prescription, your water. You're doing the stuff that you were told. So, you are. Okay? You are. Somebody says, um, yes, ma'am. So, you certainly are. You guys are. Now, let's ask something else. So, we know the answer is yes. Right? I want that. I want that. Let's ask if you, for those of you who are wondering about a certain aspect of your life, and I'm going to leave it up to you. I'm not going to even say it. A certain aspect of your life, you're wondering when you're going to see some type of an improvement. Bring that aspect. Okay. And I'm going to ask what month. Okay? Lighting. Under the leadership of the higher selves only, benevolent frequencies and energies only, epigenetic muscle movement charged to the higher selves. Please step in to assist. Pendulum. Those who give permission and intention for this particular question that they have on their heart, that they're wondering when are they going to see some type of an improvement in a certain area of their lives. Whatever that area is, what month are they going to see, feel on every plane, even in this 3D, improvement? What month, whatever this they're bringing to heart, high vibe tribers, what month are they going to see, sense, and feel some type of an improvement in a particular area? What month for the majority collective, for the majority collective that's asking, for the majority collective, what month, it's moving around guys, so hold on, what month, what month, huh, what month, what month, what month, we're still in September. It's hitting September. But we're about to be out. So let's see what it does. What month is moving? Violet Fire, help me out. Light team. Improvement in an area. Improvement. Some of you, it's March. Hold on. What month? What month? 
Some of you is October. So far I got October, September, and March. October, September, and March. Maybe there's, since it's collective, some of you is going to be October, some of you March of next year. What month? Yeah, it's still doing the same thing. What month? Yeah, I'm only getting September, October, and March. September, October. Shoes. Who gets this to get them an improvement in the October, bitch? Ah. Uh, okay. Well, whatever. I kept it open because I didn't want to name like, oh, love life, money. Everybody's going to have something different. So that's why I'm like an area, a specific area that you're maybe wondering about when you're going to see an improvement. So beautiful. Okay. For some of you, it's a few months out. Maybe it's because it's a process to healing of something. For those of you that resonate with March. Okay. Something is improving for some of you all right now. Because we have September. Either it's, an, it's like today, bitch. You know what I'm saying? They're like, well, today is in September, bitch. It's improving today. And that's beautiful. So you're right on track here. Okay. Um, and then others, it's, you know, starting tomorrow, October, within the month of, of October. Okay. All right, you guys. So there you have it. I, I pinned up the link. If you, those of you who are interested in hearing Steve Nobel's, um, I thought I pinned it, did I? There I am, yeah. Um, you have to scroll to the top of the comments. Um, <laughs> always laughing. For those of you who are interested in maybe doing it before you go to bed, check out his playlist because I haven't even had a chance to like dig. So if you got time, like just be guided, set intention and create your own playlist. This is something I've really started doing a lot. Like I create my own out of different content creators as well as my own stuff, okay? And um, those are things that you can just, wow, what the hell? Hold up. Hold up, I'm, I'm here guys, just give me a second. Okay. So for some of you, mind what you're listening to, listening to. So be guided. That's why I say set intentions and feel into it. What would be good for me and in, in alignment with my truest higher self? Okay. Um, this includes readings, this includes anything, me, anybody. Just be mindful of that. Learn how to hand stuff over to your higher self, you know, to kind of a fine tooth comb in a way, okay? And just only receive or intend to receive what is truly beneficial in a loving way for you, um, okay? All right, guys. Love y'all. And this is to my fuck right? Oh, I like these, bitch. I like these. I'm going to put on some other gloves for for the, for the next read. <laughs> I'm pulling something different, okay? It depends on what the next read is gonna be, right? How I'm feeling and shit. But I got some surprises for y'all, some good shit. But this is for the motherfuckers that be fucking with old Blowy Blow and fucking with the, the High Vibe Collective. Wait, could y'all see it? Oh, uh, these gloves, it's like, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, anyway, I'm going to be good. <laughs> All right, guys. I appreciate those of you coming to Love and Light, and I hope that this serves. And I shall be back if I have time later tonight. have some other things to finish off doing with me and my son. He won't let me play with his Nintendo Switch. Okay? He still won't. I'm, I've been asking him every day because I'm trying to you know, spend the more time and do stuff with them. So I'd take him out to do stuff like he was out earlier. But then at home, I keep trying to negotiate. <laughs> you won't let me do it. 
I don't know why. He will not. I've tried everything. So I'm going to try to go mess with him right now. And see if he'll let me play. But anywho, I hope y'all have a wonderful Friday, day, night, depending on whatever the time it is you watching this bitch. Okay? Be back.